So what's really different is we used to be able to um, to look at small parts of uh, of the sky and look at uh, at the super galaxies, um, and we could only really do that from an area about the size of your small fingernail. Now we can scan with this new leap forward. We can scan areas of the sky that are as big as your hand. We can see large parts of the sky. We can start to really scan and if you like have a panorama um, of the universe in a way that we've never had before. First week um, that uh, that this uh, facility will bring in as much data as we currently see on all of the internet now. So I mentioned when you want to see the future um, just go and talk to the astronomers. So if you thought your kids uh, were, were hassling you for more bandwidth at home believe me it won't stop. I, the thing that's most telling for me is we have not yet built a computer that can cope with the data that we will generate. We're going to have to design and build a supercomputer way beyond the supercomputers we have now, way beyond that capability to deal with the amount of data. And uh, if you put your hand in here, you'll feel the inside of here is pretty cool. Uh, we've got a nice structure that uses ambient cooling to keep this electronics as cool as possible. Okay, so uh, above us you can see the phase rate heat itself, which is the...